Hi, I'm Lloyd Edwards, and I'm going to teach you how to tune your ukulele. So the first thing you need to know is uh, the names of the strings. So first string is G. The second string is C. Third string is E. And the fourth is A. So to tune it, you're going to need a tuner. You need to clip it on to the top of your ukulele. And then pluck the first string. And it should say at the top what note is coming. So to tune it, you either have to go down in tune, which is clockwise, so you turn the tuning pegs, or you'll have to go up, which is anti-clockwise. And just turn it until G comes up on your tuner. Then you do the same with the second string. Same with the third, and same with the fourth. So there's two ways that uh, people hold ukuleles. One way is to sit on your knee. So the only thing that you have to do is hold it with your left hand. But you don't want to put all your weight on your left hand, otherwise you're not going to be able to do the chords. So you can either do it like this. So half the weight is on your knee and half the weight is on your hand. Or a lot of ukulele players, they have it <clears throat> on their chest. So you have your arm holding this weight and then your hand holding this. You can't have it all on the right hand, otherwise it's just gonna fall. You can't have it all on the left, otherwise you can't play the chords. So if it's half and half, you're in quite a comfortable position. So we're gonna look at the first kind of like three basic chords. Um, the first one we're going to look at is A minor. So to play an A minor chord, you need to use your second finger, which is your middle finger, and you need to put it on the second fret of the first string. So, so with these chords, you've got to make sure that you put enough pressure down onto uh, what we call this as a fretboard and it needs to be behind the fret itself for it to sound nice. If it isn't, it can buzz. So if you hear that, that means that there's not enough pressure on it. If you put a bit more pressure and right behind the fret, it's a lot more clearer. The second chord that we're gonna look at is G. So if you play guitar, you'll um, recognize this um, kind of chord because this is a D on guitar but on ukulele, this is a G. So this is a little bit more difficult. So you have your first finger on the second string on the second fret. You have your second finger on the second fret of the last string. And you have your third finger on the third fret of the third string. So if you have some problems and issues, and if it sounds a bit like this, it normally means there's not enough pressure or one of your fingers is touching the other strings. So you have to make sure that your fingers are standing upright, almost like a bridge position, and it should sound a lot clearer. And then the last chord that we're going to be looking at is a C chord. So it's similar to the A minor, we're only going to be using one finger, but we're going to be using the third finger on the last string of the third fret. So now we're going to look at the right hand. So there's two ways you can play with the right hand. You can either use your fingers or you can use uh, what we call this little plastic thing is a plectrum. So <clears throat> with your fingers, you need your index finger and your thumb holding it on the side. And you strum downwards with your index finger from the top string down to the bottom. With a plectrum, you do this exactly the same stance on your fingers. You have the thumb on the side of the plectrum and your finger pointing downwards as if it was part of the plectrum itself. And then you strum downwards on the ukulele. Thank you for joining our ukulele digital session. Uh, these are part of In Sessions, a project funded by Wiltshire Music Connect.